supposedly the two most haunted areas are the two top floors and our floor that we're staying on right now. That's kind of uh, out of place. <laughs> For some odd reason, they ended up closing those two floors down and apparently they only use them for storage, so they say. Did you just say something? No. You didn't hear that? For what? I could have sworn I heard somebody whispering down the hall. What? What is there? You can look in there? Look in there, what is that? What do you mean? What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new haunted adventure. Tonight we are actually gonna do something uh, kind of unique. Um, tonight we're actually staying in a luxurious haunted hotel. So it's kind of a bit of both, a little bit of a cool explore and also a haunted adventure. This hotel in particular has a lot of history, literally presidents and tons of celebrities have stayed in here. Um, I am here with Brent, I don't know why he's kind of hiding over there in the shadows. He's, uh, yeah, he's, he's kind of in a world of his own. I don't know if you guys can see him at all. I can't see him, where is he? Brand? I know you were filming oh. an intro. <laughs> there you are. But yeah, so um, there's a lot of history about this place. Apparently people have been murdered here. People have uh, killed themselves here. Um, supposedly the two most haunted areas are the two top floors and our floor that we're staying on right now. Um, I don't know specifically why. We're going to kind of do a little bit more research as we're going along. Uh, the first thing I really wanted to do was do a little bit of explore of the hotel because it looks absolutely amazing. I mean, it is a luxurious hotel, so it's definitely something cool to look at. He's gonna include a photo right now of JFK yes. standing out front. Yes. Because I figured out where he was standing. Yeah, so pretty much like not right in this exact spot, but like, but like somewhere down there kind of. Yeah. It's kind of cool. Yeah, like, so. Oh, I stood where JFK stood. Yeah, so what, which spot do you think it was? Like right probably around there, right? Yeah. Let's follow Brent Television over here. <laughs> right in this vicinity. Yeah. And you can show them the side by side of the picture. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay, so we can literally match it up here. So just imagine, just imagine Brent is uh, JFK right now. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> Anyways, should we uh, head inside and do some uh, exploring of the actual hotel? Have a little fun. Mask on. Pop the lock right there. <laughs> Arcade game. So this is kind of cool. This entrance is closed? Yes. But people literally came out of here. Okay, we might have to go to the side, but whatever. Yeah. So this place is very old. So old, in fact, they actually call their uh, bar area the speakeasy or their lounge, or whatever you want to call it. That's pretty cool. I like that. It's open. It's open? Sweet, let's go. Oh man, oh man. This is so cool. Whoa. Okay, so we haven't come in this way yet, so we haven't seen any of this. We're literally all seeing it for the first time together. Um, oh cool, there is a bar open actually. That's awesome, wow. Holy this is amazing. Wow, this is uh, gorgeous. Look at that ceiling. So we are fortunate it's not that busy. There's like a few people down there at the lounge area. Uh, I might go over there and maybe get an espresso if they're offering. That'd be kind of cool. I don't know what that area is. What is this? Oh, this is Starbucks? <laughs> so there's literally a Starbucks in there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is the one fancy Starbucks. It's really cool how they have the Starbucks inside the building as well. Oh, wee. Holy crap, though. Like, check this place out. This is cool. So I think this is like... This is probably like the first time that I've ever actually been in like a luxury hotel in the United States. Like I've never done this before. I've done like a couple of them in Canada, um, namely the Ottawa one. Uh, I don't even remember what it was, the Chateau Laurier, that's what it's called. That's another haunted hotel. And it's also considered a luxury hotel, which is absolutely amazing. But 
we're gonna do some exploring around, see what else we find in this place. Uh, probably roam the halls. Keep your eyes and ears open if you guys see or hear anything out of the ordinary. Please let us know. So what do you think? So <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Sorry, no, no. So uh, what, what, what do you think so far? Um, Spooky, I'm cool. A Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. Yeah, you're uh, right, actually. Hotel vibes. As soon as we got into this area, I kind of felt like that too. Have you seen Home Alone 2? Yes, I've seen all of them. I'm Three, cool. four. I've seen Home Alone 5 I'm and 6 as well. With the fridge. <laughs> you gotta have that the fridge. Was not accurate. No, no. Uh, okay, so let's see what else maybe we can find in here. Credit card, you got it. <laughs> it feels like that. It does feel like that. So I don't know what it is with this like center couch here, but tell me this doesn't look like a hat. That is so cool, man. I don't think I've ever seen a couch that literally looks like a hat before. I'm gonna head to this lounge area and see maybe if they'll give me some espresso because I can really use an espresso right now. Oh. <laughs> okay guys, so I'm a little bit sleepy right now. I've been uh, kind of doing things all day long as you guys probably saw on the vlog. We actually went to this really amazing restaurant for dinner. Um, stupid me forgot this camera in the car and I'm just like, I'm not turning back. So I did a bunch of clips on my phone, so sorry if you're not as good as the camera, but whatever. So we're fueling up, we're gonna get our espresso. Brent didn't want any, um, cause he doesn't really drink much coffee, but I drink a lot of coffee, so. Needed my espresso shot and then uh, we're gonna get the show on the road here, so. Like I said, this place has a lot of history. It's about, I think, just over 100 years old. Like I said, a lot of presidents have been here. There's a lot of crazy stories which we'll go over um, in just a little bit. Um, and some of them are really, really weird, too. But yeah, I don't really know what to expect. I don't know if we're gonna catch a lot of stuff, a little stuff, somewhere in between. Um, but we do have a lot of really cool places coming up as well. I just kind of thought this would be interesting and fun for you guys to watch as well. Let's go. So, we got the uh, front desk area over there. I don't really know what else there is in this place, but uh, that's where we originally came in from. So we got a tap room, uh, Terrence room. What's down that way? Mummies. Mummies? Yes. What? Mummies. <laughs> Now that would be freaky. <laughs> Mommy's scary. Like the concept of them? No, I mean they're a little bit creepy. What's I mean, creepy it's... is that this elevator door has not closed. It has been open. Yeah, you're right, that is actually pretty creepy. Originally, wasn't it that one that was open? Imagine it just closed on you, which would be impossible because you literally would need the key. <laughs> Without the key, you can't actually operate the elevators in here. Right? This place is pretty cool. Caution, what for? That's kind of uh, out of place. <laughs> white carpet, white Dude. carpet. <laughs> How did you slip on that? <laughs> This is gonna be the stupidest video ever. <laughs> oh, there's the other open one. Okay, so there's two sets of, but there's a lot of elevators in this place. Holy. So, uh, how do we get to the top floor? I don't know. Your hands? My hands? Settings. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> we get a continental breakfast. I don't know. That'd be nice. Four hundred dollars. Four hundred dollars for continental breakfast. So yeah, this uh, this place was pretty expensive to rent a room. It was about uh, three hundred bucks. Um, look at this vase. Where am I? Museum. Okay, we just did like a little spin around here. That's nice. What's up here? Grant Street, apparently. There's so many freaking entrances in this place. 
Ew, Pittsburgh. <laughs> I, hate I hate people from Pittsburgh. Why? Oh, I thought I had a Pittsburgh shirt. Oh. <laughs> oh this is where we're trying to get at. Yeah, so. The Gruber Fails has been here since 1841. <laughs> Before the building was built? I'm planning a TikTok. I have a great idea, yeah. <laughs> okay. Totally cool. not ghost related. Cut that out. That's fine. <laughs> um, here, wait, I'll tell you about this place. Um, so this is the William Long Newman um, West Entrance. Okay. Uh, 1978. JFK got shot. Right here. What? JFK got shot. Just, in, just out here? In 1978. Well, you might want to tell Wikipedia they got their info wrong. <laughs> Well, didn't he get shot in like Texas or something? Yeah, <laughs> okay. Here, wait. I'll just make up some lies. So, this chandelier was actually made mm -hmm. by William Penn himself. William Penn was a craftsman. I mean, what he oftentimes did was work in his home in his garage. Um, in his what? Garage. 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 Okay. You say garage in Pittsburgh. No, you don't. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me that's a joke. <laughs> that's a joke. His garage did. Craft mm. these beautiful chandeliers. Yeah. Let's be honest, look at that ceiling. That's gorgeous. Just look at it. Look at it. Just look at it. <laughs> no, it's fine. This is funny. Is this disrespectful? No. We're in a hotel. It's a hotel, dude. Well, the one time we were in the tunnel, people were like, you're disrespectful. It's like I'm an outgoing person. I'm sorry. So Brent is a comedian, in case you haven't picked that up yet. I mean, not like he's not a comedian or whatever, but he makes funny stuff, okay? Funny content for the internet to make people laugh. So feel free to check him out on his own channel, and uh, he also makes funny TikTok videos. <laughs> they, forgot to, they forgot to wipe. What are you doing? Sacrificing my mask for their dirty butt. Flossing? Flossing the butt cheeks? Yes. Jesus. Did you get that on camera? Yes. <laughs> Oh my god, so so this chandelier was actually placed here before the building was actually built. Um, yeah, a few more details. We got uh, bagels. We got a bagel store here. Bagels, if you guys want bagels, come and check out the bagels. So, a little bit of a funny story. When we, when we first arrived at the hotel, we actually came to those doors. We get to the doors, all locked, every single one. And we're like, dude. What is going on? Brent's like, are you sure you made a booking here? Like the booking actually was confirmed. I'm like, yeah, dude, they literally- I thought we were gonna be going home. Yeah, like feeling. they literally took the money. The money came out of my bank account. I'm like, dude, the place was paid for. <laughs> like, I don't know what to tell you. And there's literally, there, there was a sign on the door that said the place has been closed due to COVID or whatever. We're like, oh, you've gotta be kidding me. And I don't have any other place to stay tonight. So, I mean, it's, it would either be the back of the car or, or pitch a tent in Brent's backyard, <laughs> one or the other. Um, but anyway, so um, luckily I decided let's go around the side of the building and we came to another street and yes, the doors were open, thankfully. So how do we get up there? I don't know. Huh, gotta figure this out. We could just take the elevator. You know, I didn't know they had those here. It's not like they have 47. No, not at all. 47 elevators? I know. Feels like it. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> okay. Or maybe just this random stairwell over here. So currently the uh, hotel has 17 accessible floors, but we do know that there's 22 or 23. If you see from the original photo or the B-roll um, that there's two upper levels, for some odd reason, they ended up closing those two floors down and apparently they only use them for storage, so they say. But apparently those were the really, really haunted areas. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get in there tonight. It would be kind of cool if we could somehow find a magical way, because you know me, sometimes I find magical ways into places. So, are you scared of sleeping here tonight? No, I'm tired. <laughs> You're tired? Yeah. I'm tired too. Okay, so we are on the uh, mezzanine level. What the heck? This is like a castle over here. Is that it? Wow. Wow. I think we could go up there too. It's very quiet. Very eerily quiet. You 
hear that echo? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> 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 <You're so dumb. laughs> oh my god, <laughs> kill me. <sighs> Let's see, so what areas do I have special access to? Not that one. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Uh, so where does this go? We're just going to start randomly roaming hallways or what? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Sorry. No worries. I missed you. Huh? I missed you. You missed me? I missed you too. Hello, Spawn with Angela. Hello, Brent Television. Hi. Look at this phone. What? Look at this phone. Ah, oh, that must be from like 1912. Right? It's so old. Made of pure metal. Wow, that's cool. You just spin it. <laughs> Pretty sure it's just a prop. <laughs> so where's this like overlook over like the main lobby? I thought there would have been one. Kind of expected that. Did you just say something? No. You didn't hear that? For what? I could have sworn I heard somebody whispering down the hall. Well, I can guarantee it was not me. Okay. Because I'm right behind you and I don't need to whisper. Huh. Unless this is a library. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real though, I thought I heard something like down the hall. Okay. Like, no joke, like, Brent thinks I'm joking right now, but I actually legitimately heard, like, somebody whisper. I thought he was, like, on his phone, just kind of, like, on his phone talking to himself or something. I don't know. I heard something that was odd. So it begins, I guess. Wonder where that goes. JFK's in there. <laughs> <laughs> so which other presidents were here? Eisenhower. Eisenhower, JFK, JFK Obama. Obama. Um, George Washington. <laughs> George Washington. <laughs> yeah, he was here. He cut the rope of opening. Yeah, he was here in uh, 1782, I believe. Something like that. What do you see? Look in there. What? What is in there? You can look in there? Look in there. What is that? What do you mean? Oh, what is that? That looks like there's mummies in there. Yeah, for real. That's weird. I don't know if I can... You can look through the crack. Hang on, I'm trying to get the uh, camera to be able to see what's in here. Look through the crack. So I don't know if you guys can see this properly or not, but probably not. It's really just... <laughs> you just grabbed my ass. <laughs> Jesus. But yeah, it's like uh, mummy part three in there. I don't know what's going on. This area is uh, different. Yeah, for real. What is this area? Business center. Dude. Did anyone get off the elevator? Hmm? Did anyone even get off that elevator? Someone on it? I don't know. Was there anybody? Did anybody get on off? 
What the hell? Uh, okay. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Let's get the shit out of me. Oh no! Shit! Oh no, save me! Oh my god. Jesus. <laughs> 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 He's gonna try it again. <laughs> Did I actually get you? No, okay. I knew, I knew it was coming. Let's be real. Was weird that that just like opened. Yeah, for real, dude. I thought that was kind of like I didn't. I didn't see anybody like go near it or come off. This looks straight so, out of The Shining. Right. What is this area? Uh, okay. <laughs> what is this area? Hey, you wanna hold this door? I think it's just a storage area. Yeah, but quiet going into that area. This is weird. Guys, I have no idea where I'm going. So I pushed the button on this elevator. I'm actually kind of uh, curious. I don't know where I'm going. Okay. This is uh, kind of weird. Kind of felt like somebody was walking behind me. This area is weird, dude. I don't know, it just feels weird. Yeah. Like, it, it just, it's, it's very different from the rest of the hotel. Oh, look at the lights. Yeah. That side. Yeah, that side's not luxury. Yeah. Okay, so what I'd like to know is where's that part of the hotel? I think that's the Carnegie Museum. Oh, okay. Is that like here somewhere? Because <laughs> I kind of want to see that. That looks really cool. <laughs> uh, if I'm correct, this is like right near Squirrel Hill where your yeah. Airbnb was. It's like your pit. Oh, that cathedral okay. I showed you? It's right oh, there. yeah. Okay, cool. That's the museum. It's really cool. So I've been in uh, Pittsburgh now for about eight days. Um, I consider myself very well versed now in the Pittsburgh ways, which is basically not at all. <laughs> How weird. This is weird. What is the deal with that? Like, what's behind there? Right? Like, I know. What would, what would be the point for a fake doorway? I know. I'm trying to figure that out, too. That's so strange. <laughs> it's not like a secret entrance or something, is it? Creepy. Have you ever seen something like that? No, I don't think so. I mean, mind you, I've been in like places that literally had like a garage door. I, I, I've been in places that literally have had second floor doors that literally lead to nowhere. Like if you're just not paying attention, you'll just literally drop off and die. Really? Yeah, like it's it's weird. It's like, is that outside? I don't know. This is, it says sales and executive offices. <laughs> is that actually what's in there? Can you see? It's 
obviously locked. Yeah. Can you like see through the crack? Let's see. We're just trying to look into everything now. Nope, I don't see nothing there. Weird. What was that? It sounded like that door. Is there someone there? I'm not going down there. Why? <laughs> it's, there's probably somebody on the other side or something. I'm just curious, I just need to know. That's definitely what we heard. That door handle makes a lot of noise, but there's no one here. Dude, there's no one here. This door freaks me out, man. Like, it doesn't even close. There's literally no one there, dude. The elevator scared me. Why? Because they started to move. They went up and down. Oh. For a second I thought you had seen like a ghost or something. <laughs> that was freaky. Scan the card then, 14. This is hard. Okay, now 14. 14. Jesus. <laughs> this hallway is like really creepy. I don't know what the deal is with this. It literally reminds me of The Shining. This elevator is going to burn. That was a ghost? <laughs> okay guys, so we are taking a little bit of a break here from uh, roaming around the halls. This is actually the room. This is pretty cool. So I got the uh, premiere room here. I don't even know why I bothered to pay extra. It's not really that much better. But uh, it definitely looks cool. The view is cool. I'll show you guys that in a second. <sighs> Here we have a uh, fancy closet where the light turns on by itself. One robe for two people, so Brent and I are going to have to share that. Um, you're taking a smacker. You're taking So? Hello? So, I heard <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, at least let me like zoom in. <laughs> got some, uh, oh, man, good morning. Really? Yeah, I think that'd be good. That light just flickered right next no, to you. It, didn't. it did, for real. You didn't see it? No, I'm looking at you. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are the uh, beds we're going to be sleeping in tonight. Oh, I have to see. They're actually quite comfortable. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna continue this in uh, a few moments. Actually, oh, let me actually uh, show you guys the view of outside before I take my little break here. Now that's cool. Check that out. So we're on the 14th floor. You can literally see all these awesome buildings. Like, check that out. Wow. That's cool. I have no idea what building that is, but it's pretty dope. And on this side, on this side you can actually see, um, I believe it's called Melon or Melon, Melon Park? I don't know. I don't know what anything's called down here. Don't shoot me for not knowing names. I wish we could get up uh, to the higher rooms. That would be actually pretty cool. If there's any spirits here, please make a sound. Spirits? That wasn't a spirit. What the hell was that? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna show Angelo the you know the Pittsburgh tradition mm -hmm. of a beer. No, what is it? So Angelo's gonna have you're gonna have another one, right? Are these screw offs? Yeah. No, they aren't. No, yeah, they, they are. are. Yeah, like, it is. No, they aren't. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this sitting here? I, I don't know. That was just randomly placed there. Okay, well, he was almost done. I'll get mine. Here, I need to vlog it from your point of view. Okay. So he doesn't know. So we're just trying to vlog stuff. Because he told me I'm in charge. 
Okay. So how do you normally like cheers in Canada? Please don't hit it on top. I'm not. Don't do it. I'm not. Just like that. Okay, come here. By the so, way. Close your eyes. I'm gonna show you something. Close your eyes. And this is for everybody. <laughs> close your eyes. No. Close your no, eyes. I know what you're gonna do. You're gonna waste beer and make a mess. No, just open your mouth and drink it. What? It's like look. You have to, like, as soon as you do this, <laughs> come on, please, <laughs> please, you just have to try to drink, ready? Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, <did it> so <laughs> you spat all over me and my belt fell off. Oh my god. We'll get a, we'll get a towel. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> you wanna give us your name? Really, what floor are you on? Where, where should we go? You're on the first floor? Can you come to the 14th floor? And another lady came into the room and started yelling when she saw her on the bed because she started saying, it's my bed, I was murdered here. So, like I said, I've been pretty much at it all night. Um, unfortunately, we cannot 